Good afternoon. Good afternoon from a city in Germany that is the easternmost city in the whole country. Good afternoon from a place that was uh, used as decor, as prop, as background for films like Inglorious Bastards, Grand Hotel Budapest, and Around the World in 80 Days. What could it be? Well, if you believe it or if you don't believe it, we are in the town or the city called Gerlitz. Yeah, we are here on the river Neisse, as you can see. And towards the, the say, left side of the river, it's Gerlitz. And towards the right side of the river, it's Gorzelek, which is a town in Poland. So we're on the German-Polish border. So Gerlitz, which is this place over here with beautiful cathedral, Gerlitz is about 60,000 people, inhabitants, and uh, it's really, really gorgeous. Out of, let's say, buildings of uh, UNESCO World Heritage here is unparalleled. The natural surrounding is pretty dope as well. Can you believe it? Look at this. So the Nice forms a little valley basically because on the right hand side and on the left hand side the town is like just about 50 meters higher than the valley of the river. Like a very, very unique valley, to be fair, and very nice, very green, lots of vegetation as you can see on both sides. Yeah, let's explore Gorlitz a little bit more. So, I'm in downtown Gorlitz. I'm in downtown Gorlitz, and what you see behind me is actually the city hall. Yep, Gorlitz has this kind of landscapes, yeah, these kind of buildings. Beautiful city hall building. And Gorlitz is a very European city, it's a very EU city. Because Gorlitz has a foreign mayor. Yep. The mayor of Gorlitz is not German. He's actually Romanian and his name is Octavian Ursu. How nice. He's doing a pretty good job though. And look at how this city hall looks. And the building surrounding it. Very nice. Very, very nice indeed, I would say. And is this Poseidon, I think, yeah? <laughs> Good one. And yeah, what behind me, the church behind me, that you can see. It's the evangelical church called St. Peter and Paul. Yeah, it's the one that you see on TV, in the movies, in the postcards. That's the one. Let's get a closer look. There is St. Peter and Paul. It's pretty big and I think it looks quite old. And from this Peter and Paul Cathedral, you have the view over the Polish side, over the Gorzeleg, and the River Nice. That's the bridge of the River Nice, as you can see over there. And it's Gordelek. And you can see in the distance you have a lot of commie blocks in Gordelek. And they look pretty run down and stuff. I'm not saying Poland is a bad place, it's really not, but yeah. It's just different from uh, Gorlitz. Just a bit different. You can feel the difference actually. You can feel the difference. And I'm not saying Germany is better than Poland or Poland is better than Germany. It's just different, okay? 
How nice. And this is the cathedral in its entire splendor, basically. Pretty big place, I would say. Quick note. To film inside the cathedral, you need to pay a fee of €2.50. So I was uh, trying to film, but they said, okay, €2.50. So I just uh, went out, basically. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's a good thing. You gather some more money at the local council, I think. But yeah, it's 250 just to let you know if you really want to go inside and film. <laughs> How lovely. Like all around Gorlitz, you're going to find passages like this. Okay? Old town passages. And this kind of stuff. It's typical. It's also what gives the city its beauty because for 60,000 people, come on. Look at this. Look at this. And yeah, I think that's Polish, isn't it? what makes girl it's special friends and at the end of this passage there's something really interesting that I want to show to you hope it's still there very very interesting a lot of red bricks, bingo red bricks, and wow, fantastic. And yeah, I've been wanting to show you something, and I said before, and yeah. This is it. It's a fountain basically. And it's a guy and his wife, I think. And he's bathing and the wife is doing the laundry at the same time in the same bathtub that he's using for bathing. So that was the take on life back then, I think. This is probably at the most 19th century, maybe even earlier. Anyway, I've been waiting to see, to actually film this little thing for like 25 minutes already because there was like a, a gang, a pack of tourists, I say, around this little fountain and I just couldn't get the camera in to be fair. Anyway, Golis has a lot of tourists, honestly. And yeah, from the city center of Gorlitz, as you can see, it's a very sunny day in beautiful Gorlitz. I advise you basically to come here and visit the city because it's really worth it, I think. I've been here twice already and I will go even more. Yeah? It's a small city, don't expect it to be like a huge metropolis. It's only 60,000 people, but it's uh, really worth it. It's, it's full of buildings that are, let's say, architectural marvels. Most of them at least, you know. And yeah, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already, of course. And click the notification bell so you want to get notified whenever I'm posting something new. Because you know, I will be posting almost every day. Until mid-August at least for sure. And yeah, so far so good. So what? Bye-bye.